Gayatri, happy to come to you live because we have a really special guest with us. We have Horan Wong from ACAP, Australian College of Applied Professions. Uh, Horan, welcome to the session. Thank you, Deepa. Thanks for your invitation. And uh, hello, students from Aussie's group. Very nice to meet you all. Thank you for your warm welcome. I was thinking that um, let's talk about Australian College of Applied Professions to our viewers, as well as some of the pop popular courses that ACAP is offering, um, especially maybe social work because it's very popular and very much in demand. So uh, Horan, can you talk to our viewers about ACAP? What sort of institution it is and what are the popular courses that are on offer at ACAP? Okay, sure, definitely. So let me uh, share my screen for now, okay? Sure. Because I prepared a um, PowerPoint for our students. Um, can everyone see my screen now? Yes. Okay, excellent. All right, so a quick introduction for ACAP. As many of you probably know, ACAP is one of the provider under Navitas Group. And for the past almost 40 years, uh, we have been focusing on human service industry. Uh, by saying human service industry, mainly we are talking about social work, psychology, and counseling. So that's all we do for the past many, many years. And this did bring us a big benefit and advantage because as many of you probably know, most of the social work, counseling, and psychological degrees comes with work placement. Yes. Later on uh, in my uh, course programs inter uh, explanation, you will know why this work placement is so important. And because of our long-term uh, commitment in this industry, very confidently to say, we have much more resources uh, in this industry and many, many good partners in the industry. So that means a lot of options for our students if you are thinking about to do a degree with us and build up your experience in the industry. Yeah. So as you can say at this stage, ACAP, we have four campuses around Australia. Um, every campus is located right in the center of CBD. And uh, clearly this is one of our big highlight because nowadays I understand most of our students, you need to work and study in the meantime, okay? So a part-time job is very important for you to support yourself. And um, all of our campuses are located right in the center of CBD. So that means very convenient location for you. Um, the social work degrees, currently we are delivering this, this degrees in Sydney and Melbourne only. But we do have the plan to expand these uh, social work degrees in other campuses as well. And uh, I believe Aussie's group team will keep every one of you updated. Um, some overview about ACAP and the Navitas. As you can say, as I just uh, mentioned, ACAP, we started from 1983. And for the past many, many years, we have been focusing on human service industry. And uh, at this stage, we actually have five campuses. The Adelaide campus is also ready, but just at this stage, it's only available for domestic. Uh, hopefully next year, maybe the second half of next year, we will have our Adelaide campus ready for international students as well. Mm. And as you can say, uh, the domestic students versus international students, the percentage, Yes. So that also means very good English environment for our international students. Uh, some highlights about ACAP. Uh, probably I will skip this part at this stage because later while I'm um, explaining our programs, I will definitely uh, let you know all the highlights for ACAP and our programs. And one, of, uh, one very important point, all the programs delivered by ACAP they are all accredited. As you can say, very importantly, for social work degrees, um, it is accredited by AASW. And all the psychological degrees are accredited by APAC. And of course, for all the counseling degrees, we have PACFA accredited 
and also ACA. And uh, here is the course list for ACAP. I highlighted the social work degrees for you because obviously nowadays uh, the social work degrees are the most popular programs for our international students. But we do have uh, almost every level program delivered for international students in counseling discipline and also psychological discipline. Um, and today in my presentation, I'm going to focus on social work programs. Um, later for the Q&A uh, session, if you have any specific questions for our psychological degrees or counseling degrees, also feel free to ask. Um, so let's start from the Master of Social Work program, because this is obviously the most popular program for ACAP at this stage. Uh, it's a two years program in total 12 units. So that means the normal uh, arrangement, units arrangement will be um, two, three, one. So that means students normally will start with two units. And this means uh, for the first payment, very importantly, you only need to pay something around $6,800. Uh, the price just increased a little bit for next year. So the new payment will be something around $9,800, I believe, $60. That's all you need to pay for a two-year COE. Very affordable price. And uh, a lot of students nowadays... Um, are interested in social work and probably you came to Australia started with some other degrees. And for ACAP, one of our big highlight, we because we are doing trimester. So that means you get to pay by every four months, not by every half year. So that means less amount of tuition fee paid for each installment. And also very importantly, that also means we have three intakes per year. Mm -hmm. um, normally, it will be February, May, and September. And this means any time, by any time when you okay. are ready. February. Sorry, please continue. Oh, good. So that means by any time when you are ready to make this decision for your future career plan and shift to social work, uh, we will have a right intake for you. And as I just mentioned uh, at this stage, social work degrees are only delivered in our Sydney and Melbourne campuses. A lot of students, they want to know what's the entry requirement for the Master of Social Work. Right. Um, mainly, uh, we need to check two things for you, okay? The first thing is academic requirement. For any students who would like to get a direct entry to Master of Social Work, um, ideally, you need to show us a background, which means your academic background should be in, a, in an area such as, as we listed here, social science, psychology, community service, education, and public health, counseling, any related areas to social work. We call it cognitive area. If you came from any of these kind of backgrounds, that means big chance you will meet the academic requirement. And of course, the second requirement will be English. Uh, we need you to show minimum IELTS 7 for each band or equivalent in PTE. So yes, we do accept PTE. For PTE, it will be 65 for each part. Uh, other than these two tests, we also accept TOEFL and Cambridge, but I do believe uh, IELTS and PT are the most popular tests at this stage. So that's all the uh, entry requirements we normally check, only two academic requirement and the English requirement. And as you can say, uh, we have 1000 hours work placement included. Uh, from the beginning of my presentation, I did mention this actually distinguish ACAP Mm -hmm. with any other providers on the market and the reasons first one first reason of course our students you will need uh, these 1000 hours work placement to build up your experience in the uh, industry and at this stage as many of you probably know uh, 
our country, Australia, we are extremely short of social worker at this stage. So that means for our students, uh, our work placement team, obviously we are going to organize this work placement for you. And normally, uh, I would say over 50% of our graduates when they finish this program, when they complete this uh, master program with us, over 50% of them will get a job offered at that place, at that work placement uh, partner. So many of them, once they graduate, they will start with a job easily. So this is very important. And the other reason is, Obviously, a lot of our students, the reason why they came to social work, because once they graduate, they would like to seek their opportunity to stay longer in Australia. And in order to do the job assessment as a, uh, as a social worker, you need to go to uh, the accreditation body, which I just showed you, right? AASW. And with AASW, mainly there are just two requirements to do this job assessment. First one, you need to provide AASW the IELTS, academic IELTS only. They do not accept PTE, any other English test. So only academic IELTS, seven for each band minimum. And uh, also a tip for our students, with AASW, they do allow you to combine two IELTS tests. Yes. Yeah. So that's very good. They yeah, allow two sittings for that. Yes, that's correct. Yes. Um, and the other requirement will be minimum work placement hours, 980 hours. And uh, as you can say, uh, once you completed this master program with ACAP, our work placement team will make sure you will have 1,000 hours on your book. And this means uh, once you graduated, as long as you could meet the IELTS requirement, you could get the job assessment done as a social worker with the ASW. No any other requirement, no job offer required, no any experience required. So this is very easy for now. Yeah. Okay. And that's the uh, job assessment, 1,000 hours. And uh, other than that, as you can say, I just quickly show you what's the requirement for each English test. We have uh, the Cambridge, IELTS, TOEFL, and PTE listed here. And uh, if you have any further questions for the English test result, always feel free to check with the Aussies group team. Uh, a lot of students um, also would like to know what's the careers options as a social worker, right? When they graduate. Yes. And uh, this is very important because nowadays, for the students, once you graduated, the sometimes our students will have this misunderstanding. As a social worker, uh, maybe I could only work in the hospital or in the clinic, which is actually not true. Because for our uh, students, as you can say, um, we actually have a lot of different kind of partners ready to offer a work placement for them. In Australia, uh, many, we call it mega companies, big mm -hmm. companies, for example, uh, all those uh, companies which, are, uh, which our students are familiar with, such as Google, Amazon, Facebook, all the mega companies, PwC, they all have their in-house social worker to provide mental health support to the, their staff. And in most of the universities, for example, ACAP, ourselves, we have our in-house social worker to provide mental health support to uh, our students. Um, so if we look at the whole industry, I always say social worker is like the basement of our industry for any entry level mental health support or life advice support. Our students, um, for any entry level uh, support, it will be men, uh, the social worker's job. Uh, so as you can say, uh, which listed here, uh, there are plenty of options. Of course, uh, our students get the chance to work in the hospitals, in the clinic, and all the community service centers, and also child protection programs, 
family support services or the government services such as CenterLink in Australia, and also all the uh, age care, disability care. So plenty of options. And that's another reason why nowadays when our students graduated, as I just mentioned, over 50% of them will just stay with our work placement partners. But all the other students also, it takes them very short time to find a job. And nowadays, if our students go to Google social work in Australia, you can uh, find the list. Uh, that list is so called uh, extremely short of uh, occupation list. Which, is, which was issued by our government. And clearly you can say social work is listed on the top three of that list. Um, and the, as you can say from this data released by SIG, the website, uh, nowadays our graduates, they also get very good uh, income, uh, very good salary. If yes. students would like to stay in Sydney or Melbourne, the big cities once they graduated, uh, easily they can get a starter pay around 80,000. And if they made the decision to go to the regional area, easily they can make a starter pay around 80, 90,000 or above. For any fresh graduates, the, I must say this is very good income. So compared to other uh, popular jobs such as accountant or IT, uh, this is very good pay. And uh, also, uh, very easy to find uh, find a job on the market. So that's why nowadays, of course, a lot of students they came to us because they want to seek their opportunity to stay longer in Australia. But also a lot of students, if they seriously think about their future career plan, if they want to make decent income in Australia, and if uh, they want to make their contribution to our society, Social work nowadays is also a very good job, very promising job for you, okay? And of course, a lot of students will ask, um, what if my background is not from uh, any uh, discipline listed here? Yes. Uh, don't worry, because we do have a bridging program offered for you for any non-background students. And also, if your English is not that outstanding if you are having a bit difficulty to get IELTS 47 this program will be the right program for you as well uh, as you can say this bridging program which so-called graduate certificate of human service seven months program and our students can use it to package with master of social work as long as you could successfully complete this program you will have the direct entry to Master of Social Work, which means you do not need to meet the academic requirement anymore, and you do not require to provide IELTS 47 anymore. So here is the entry requirement. Uh, you need to have a bachelor or any academic background with minimum four relevant units. So this means for our students, if your background is business, any popular uh, majors yeah. such as accounting, finance, any business related background, or even IT background, most scenario, we will be able to find four for you, okay? You will be able to enroll to this program. And as you can say, the English requirement is also much lower, much more friendly. <laughs> so IELTS 6.5, no band lower than six. For PTE, it will be 58.5, no part lower than 52. And let's say if you only achieved IELTS 6 or even 5.5, don't worry, because we also can let students package academic English program with this bridging program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we currently have two English pathway partners feel free to talk to the office group team. They will be able to make further advice for you. Um, with this bridging program, a few highlights for you. Of course, we are doing three intakes as well for this program. Actually, any programs delivered by ACAP, we will have three intakes. And a very affordable price for even the package because we do not charge any deposit for the master program, which means for even the two years and seven months package, 
to get this COE two years and seven months, what you need to pay for the first payment is only around $6,800, similar amount, no deposit for the master program. And of course, as I mentioned, we have all the city center located location uh, campus and uh, as well, uh, the work placement, we have uh, much better work placement options for you. Normally our students, you will have two to three options for the work placement because it happened very often to our students. Sometimes you do not like this place and you want to go to somewhere else with us, at least you have a backup option. And uh, as I mentioned in uh, the previous part, work placement is always very important for you. <laughs> okay, so that's most of the information for our bridging program. Yes, uh, yes. So Deepa, do you want me to quickly introduce the Bachelor of Social Work as well, or you would like to uh, raise up some questions? Yes, so I have a lot of questions on this for sure. Okay. Thank you for demonstrating the career prospects, no problem. Uh, no. as well as how the entry requirements are. Obviously, they are quite flexible because you know for Masters of Social Work, what students struggle with is the cognate background. So obviously, the bridging program is going to help them to reach their end goal of studying Masters of Social Work. Um, but I would like to know that even for the bridging course, there is some need to have at least four units cognate background, right? That's correct. Um, mm -hmm. Do you think uh, uh, graduates from accounting you know, or management backgrounds, can they can they attempt to qualify? How, yep. what will be their assessment? Right. So, uh, so far I would say, uh, because we did receive a lot of applications from the students mm -hmm. with uh, accounting background or similar background, Mm -hmm. And so far, I would say at least 80% of the applications will be able to go through mm -hmm. and uh, uh, will be able to enroll with this bridging program. The reason is uh, for most of the accounting students, uh, if you look at your transcript, you will have some management related units, right. such as human resource management, and also some units related to uh, uh, behavior such as organizational behavior yes. and some communication related units and uh, because this program is internal design so sometimes we could even go a bit more flexible and uh, some units such as company law we can count in as well so that's why most of the accounting background students uh, don't worry you will be able to go through this bridging program uh, to our to package with our master of uh, social work program. Mm. Here you go, guys. That's a great opportunity for accounting management commerce students who are looking to transition into social work Thanks. or job opportunities associated with social work as well as for PR opportunities as well, right? Um, another question uh, we have is if there is, um, if the student is packaging the graduate certificate of human services plus the masters of social work, do they have to present the seven each or the equivalent when they start the masters of social work or just because they've completed the graduate certificate, they will be eligible for entry into the masters? Yes, uh, that's the, actually that's the uh, beauty of the bridging program because for any students, if you come from non-background or if you are uh, struggling with the IELTS 47, once you completed this bridging program successfully, the IELTS 47 will not be required to uh, get into the Master of Social Work. Mm -hmm. And later, let's say once you graduate, uh, of course, as I mentioned with AASW for the job assessment, uh, you will need to provide academic IELTS 47. Right. I do believe uh, our this group, the magic team, you will have a backup option for that as well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so do talk to uh, the office group team. Yeah. Yeah, even uh, for the job assessment, there will be a backup option for you. Yes, there are skill assessment backup options. If they don't score seven each, they can go for welfare worker yes. under AACW. So there are multiple options. That's the very good part about social work. Yes. Uh, it's not, and career wise as well, as you demonstrated, you could work in corporate setting, you could work in government, non government sectors, in NGOs. And because people think social worker would mean then I would be working as a case manager only, but there are so many roles 
with within this hierarchy there they can find beautiful jobs right that's true that's true because, because compared to other popular uh programs such as nursing uh as uh, many of you probably know uh for nurse uh, they normally need to work night shift yes. and that means sometimes you need to work the whole night the overnight and that's obviously very tiring and uh, for social worker uh as i just mentioned uh big chance you can get a job in a big company or in the school in the university so that means you can work in the office with a normal working hour nine to five yeah that's so right that's, that's really very important, important. Mm. yes what is the next intake that is upcoming for the graduate certificate and the masters of social work Right. So for both programs, uh, the next intake is coming soon, which will be February next year. Mm -hmm. And after that, we also have May intake and the September intake. Mm. Right. And remember, guys, you will have to also write a statement uh, on outlining your interest on why do you have to study social work. And normally our, our Aussies group team normally helps you assemble all the documents so that you could make the best application so that you can qualify as well. Um, Another interesting uh, part about uh, ACAP's offering is uh, the Bachelors of Social Work as well. Could you talk a little bit about that program? What's the duration and what's the entry requirement, please? Okay, so for the uh, Bachelor of Social Work, it's a four years program in total 28 units. So that means roughly every year you will need to do around seven to eight units. And here you can see the entry requirement. Yeah, uh, we need the students to be 18 years old or above and complete a, either a diploma degree or above in Australia or a secondary equivalent to year 12 in Australia. And for any students, if you completed a year 12 in Australia, high school in Australia, we will be able to waive the English requirement for you. Okay, as you can say, uh, the other entry requirement will be IELTS 7 with no band lower than 7. So same, same like the Master of Social Work English entry requirement. And of course, we accept the PTE and any other English test such as TOEFL and the Cambridge at will. Uh, but I do understand for high school graduates, you might have some difficulty to achieve such a high IELTS result. So as I mentioned, if you completed high school in Australia, we can waive the English requirement for you. Or let's say you completed a bachelor degree already in Australia, we can waive the English requirement for you. Otherwise, uh, if you can straight away from overseas and you just completed your year 12 from uh, overseas, then uh, my suggestion will be if your English is not that outstanding, have a look of our other bachelor degrees. Yes. As you can say, we have Bachelor of Counseling, Bachelor of Psychological Science, and we also have uh, two double degrees, which are Bachelor of Psychological Science and Criminology or Counseling. Uh, criminology is designed for students who would like to be a police officer in the future. Uh, the reasons why I suggest you to consider any other bachelor degrees, if your English is not that outstanding, well, the first reason uh, for any other bachelor degrees, we only need IELTS 6 overall, okay. no band lower than 5.5. .5. Uh, and also, let's say if you only got IELTS uh, even lower than 6 overall, we can let you package academic English program, okay? Uh, that's the first reason, much lower English requirement. And the second reason is for any other bachelor degree, the duration will be three years. But as I just mentioned, Bachelor of Social Work is a little bit special because its course duration will be four years. So that means if you use three years to complete a bachelor degree, later you will have direct entry to Master of Social Work. So with two more years, you will be able to complete a master degree. And uh, as I just mentioned, with a higher education degree completed in Australia, we will waive the English requirement. And of course, any other bachelor degrees delivered by ACAP, it will be recognized as cognate to social work. So you will meet the academic requirement 
as well. So that means a direct entry to Master of Social Work. With two more years, you can complete a Master of Social Work. And of course, with uh, the uh, graduate, uh, sorry, with the uh, Bachelor of Social Work, um, we have 1,000 hours work placement included as well. Mm. All right, yes. Okay. So that would help them with their skill assessment for with the academic. Yes, yes. So that does mean uh, once student completed this Bachelor of Social Work, they can do the job assessment with the ASW as well. Mm. We have a question coming up. They're curious about the course fee for Masters of Social Work and okay. um, any scholarship that may could be on offer for students. Right, okay. So firstly, uh, I would like to uh, let students know, normally uh, we are offering a uh, MIRI based scholarship. As you can say here, okay, for uh, any students, so depending on your nationality, later do check with us this group and they will be able to give you further uh, information. But uh, generally speaking, uh, we will offer a MIRI based scholarship. So depending on your academic result and also your IELTS or PT test result, yeah. we are offering a certain amount, one off from $2,000 to $5,000 only for the first year, okay? So uh, normally for our applications, we'll start with pre-assessment. And uh, once you get in touch with us, this group, they will be able to find out for you whether any uh, scholarship are available, okay? And uh, the tuition fee, um, I will need to share on, the, uh, on my screen because we actually just uh, released a new price. Right. Yeah, so one second now. Let me stop sharing the screen now. And, uh, okay, so can you see my screen now? Yes. Okay, for Master of Social Work, as you can say, this is the fee which just released for now. So for uh, Master of Social Work, roughly, Every year, as you can say, our students will need to do six units, and uh, the annual uh, set, annual tuition fee will be twenty seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, later yeah. I will type uh, in the uh, in our Zoom meeting. Um, it will be twenty seven thousand four hundred fifty dollars. So that's for the uh, annual fee. And of course, other students will start with two units, which will be something around $6,860. And after that, they will do three units, which will be something around, uh, I think, uh, almost 10, around 10, over $10,000. And yes. also for the last unit, uh, it will be uh, $10,300 as well. That will be the uh, work placement for every academic year. The last trimester, it will be whole trimester, just work placement, 500 hours. And this is the tuition fee for the uh, Master of Social Work. Right. And for the bridging program, I just quickly show everyone, okay? Uh, for the bridging program in total, there will be four units. Each unit, it will be $3,323. Mm. That's the tuition fee. All right. And also one frequent question that we get is also social workers on offer on uh, with other universities as well. Yeah. Uh, what sets apart ACAP uh, compared to the universities? Uh, can you talk a little bit about how ACAP is a specialist school for right. social work courses? Okay, okay. So because uh, as I mentioned, uh, ACAP, we started uh, from uh, back to uh, 19... 83, right? Yes, and yes. for the past almost 40 years, we have been focusing on uh, social work, psychology, and counseling. So that's all we do. So that also means for the past almost 40 years, our work placement team, they have been working very hard yes. to find new partners to provide excellent work placement for our students. And after so long time, very confidently to say, uh, we build up a lot of very good partnerships and also a lot of uh, organizations in the industry. They came to us and uh, 
ask for uh, you know any good students to provide to them for internship because nowadays obviously they are also short of staff. Yes. So that's um distinguish ACAP with any other providers because uh, most uh, of our students, as I mentioned, they will have normally two to three uh, work placement options. And this is very important because if they do need the uh, minimum 980 hours to do the job assessment and also to build up their career plan in the future. Uh, and a few other highlights, um, very affordable price. Yeah, especially for the first payment, because most of the providers, especially the university, they do semester. So that means they expect you to pay for every six months, every semester. But we are doing trimester. And also price-wise, we are lower than uh, many uh, providers already. Mm -hmm. So for the first payment, it's going to be very affordable. And once you start it, nowadays, I believe our students... Uh, it's very easy uh, for you to find a part-time job. Then you can support yourself financially. And uh, of course, um, our campuses are all located right in the center of the CBD. That means very easy access for you. Okay, nowadays you all have a part-time job. So once you finish job, uh, our campus will be uh, very close to your workplace. So you don't need to catch a train or a bus for a long time. And uh, that's very good and a very big advantage for you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, thank you for those elaborating on those aspects because normally we get this question a lot about comparison between university and the specialist school that ACAP is, yes. right? Uh, there you go, guys. We delved really deep into the social work courses, the master's, bachelor's, as well as the bridging course. Mm -hmm. um, and as you can see, even if you're doubtful about meeting the entry requirement, come talk to our counselors. Um, and as well as Horan is always happy to look into the transcripts and quickly assess to let us know whether you will be qualifying for the direct entry program or for the bridging program. Mm -hmm. So social work is really a really good course if you're looking for a PR pathway, as well as if you're looking for a very rewarding and satisfying career where you want to make a difference in people's lives as well. So uh, if you have any further questions on social work and when can you start, please contact our very talented education team working across all of our Aussie's offices and they'll be very happy to help you. And thank you, Horan, for such a detailed session. No and, problem. Yes, and thank you for helping. Thank you so much, Tifa. With, um, with uh, the questions about ACAP as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. And thank you for our students. Hope <laughs> carry on with you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Yes, yes, yes. Bye. Bye.